Hi, today we are going to demonstrate how to perform EVS guided drainage of fold of pancreatic necrosis. Patient is having acute pancreatitis for last six weeks and is having symptomatic fold of pancreatic necrosis in perigastric region. So we will perform EVS guided drainage of fold of pancreatic necrosis. We are using linear echoendoscope. So we will cross the G junction and go to proximal stomach. So most of the perigastric collections are drained from proximal stomach either along the lesser curve or posterior gastric wall. So in the endoscopic image we are in proximal stomach on posterior side is posterior wall, right side is lesser curve and left side is greater curve. Anteriorly is the anterior wall of stomach. So pancreas is a posterior organ. So most of the collection they are posterior to stomach. So uh, we go along the lesser curve and rotate scope clockwise and we can see a collection there. So it's abutting the gastric wall. So we can see the wall is well formed and in and if we see the organizing necrosis, it's a should be less than. 10%. So, first we try to get a stable position. So, on the endoscopic image, we can see that we are in proximal stomach, and uh, when we give a clockwise torque, we can see a large collection which is closely abutting the stomach, and the contents are mainly liquid. So, the next step is to get a stable position. So we can try either from high lesser curve position or we can go slightly inside in mid part of stomach and try to get a, a good location from where we can place a stent. So for world of pancreatic necrosis, we can place either the plastic stent or metal stent. So this patient has mainly liquid collection. So I think plastic stent should be good enough to drain this collection. If there is higher amount of debris which may require necrosectomy later on, it's better to place a, one can think of placing a, a metal stand in those conditions. But here I think it's a mainly liquid content, so we will be placing plastic stand. When we are performing EVS guided drainage procedure, most of the procedure is performed under endosonal region. If we try to switch to endoscopic image, we have to get away from the gastric wall and the wire or accessory may loop inside the gastric lumen and wire may come out. In this patient, we have chosen mid gastric body for placing stent between the stomach and wall of pancreatic necrosis we are getting a stable position here now we will apply doppler and we can see there are no vessels so which part of pseudocyst or world of necrosis should be punctured so we should try to get the central part of the collection because that has the largest dimension so once we select the plane with the largest dimension we should apply doppler if there is no vessel, then one can puncture from the central part of the collection. So, as we mentioned earlier, the endosono vision should be maintained continuously. So, once we puncture the collection with the needle and pass a wire, after that, scope should be totally fixed towards gastric wall and wire should be kept under vision continuously if wire is maintained continuously in the vision further procedure becomes easy so first we will puncture the hold of necrosis with 19g needle so on the right side we can see that we have punctured the hold of necrosis with 19g needle Next, we aspirate the content of the cyst. It should be non-hemorrhagic content. If we asp 
aspirate blood we have to abandon the procedure and look for cause of bleed inside the flexion in this patient we are getting whitish and dirty fluid so we'll further continue so uh, after aspirating the fluid next step is passing guide wire inside the collection so uh, once you place the guide wire we should make multiple loops that loop should be confirmed under fluoroscopy sometime the wire may perforate through the opposite wall of the cyst and it can go into peritoneal cavity so it's better to use j shaped guide wire and confirm the formation of loops under fluoroscopy most of the collection are circular or spherical so when we check on the fluoroscopy uh, we can see fire is forming multiple circular loops so once we have circular loops is confirms that wire is inside the fluid collection or mold of necrosis only next step is removal of needle so we pull the needle and same time we keep on slightly pushing the wire wire should be kept taut there should be no loop formation between the gastric pole and the probe so one should always keep on checking with the fluoroscopy that no loop is being formed in the gastric tumor so there should be no loose wire between the probe and the gastric pole as we discussed earlier scope should be stable and wire should be visible under endosonal vision so with the slight adjustment of the scope we can see wire so wire should be clearly visible that will increase the success rate and will avoid the complication next step is attaching the cap or valve to the accessory channel and after that we will pass a six french cystotome over the guide wire so we first keep the elevator up and when cystotome hit the elevator we will loosen the elevator and get the cystotome out of the equendoscope we can see cystotome under endosonal vision so initially we gently press the gastric wall and same time we use either coagulation or cutting current we can see bubble inside the world of necrosis that confirm that the cystotome has penetrated to the gastric wall and entered the world of necrosis so we repeat it so we will go again inside the world of necrosis so we have gone twice with the cautery current so next step is now we will exchange the cystotome with the cre balloon so one can use balloon of various sizes here we are using plastic stents so we can use either 10 or 12 mm cre balloon now we are removing cystotome and will exchange it with the cre balloon again we should always keep wire under vision so again with the slight movement on the shaft we can see wire inside the mold of necrosis now we are passing 10 mm cre balloon over the guide wire so once balloon is inside so if we compare wire with the cre balloon catheter cre balloon catheter is sturdy catheter so once we have cre balloon catheter inside the fluid collection then we can go away from the gastric lumen gastric wall to get the endoscopic vision if over the wire we try to get away from gastric wall to get the 
endoscopic region the wire may come out but compared to wire balloon catheter is a thicker accessory now under endosonal vision we can see that balloon is going inside the world of necrosis now we will try to get endoscopic region the movement required are the down movement big will should be away then with the anti clockwise torque on the shaft and slightly pull back so i will repeat again big will down and anti clockwise torque on the shaft and slightly pull back we will have endoscopic region so we will keep half balloon inside and half balloon outside the world of necrosis so on thoracoscopy we can confirm there is obliteration of waste and dilatation of gastric wall here on both endoscopic vision and on endosonal vision we can see that balloon is inflated and same thing can be seen on fluoroscopy so once we remove balloon there will be sudden gush of fluid and there is risk of aspiration so it's always better to perform this procedure either in left atrial position and if selection is big one should use general anesthesia after endotracheal intubation now we have deflated the balloon and you can notice that we have passed deflated balloon inside the fluid collection and we will again try to get back to endosonal vision and we will see guide wire this step is essential step so first we deflate the balloon pass the deflated balloon in the fluid collection and then we try to get endosonal vision and we try to see the guide wire if we are trying to uh, convert from endoscopic vision to endosonal vision over a guide wire there may be misplacement as we discussed earlier balloon catheter is a thicker accessory so it's easier to shift from either endosonal to endoscopic vision or from endoscopic to endosonal vision over a thicker accessory like a balloon catheter rather than changing over a guide wire next step is placing a stent between the gastric lumen and the world of flexion so wire should be again visible over the wire we will pass a catheter stent is loaded over the catheter so under endosonal vision wire should be visible after that now we can see that we are pushing catheter inside the fluid collection and that can be seen under that can be confirmed under endosonal also we we'll again try to get the wire yes we can see the wire and we can see that catheter is going inside the collection so when the catheter has gone inside the collection we can try to get endosonal sorry endoscopic region as catheter is a thicker accessory so chance of wire coming out will be lower now under endoscopic vision we can push the stent inside the world of necrosis so we will push half the stent inside so we can see a black marker indicating the proximal end of stent now we will remove the central catheter make loop inside the cyst now we will try to get away from the puncture site and now we are using down knob so once we use down knob the force will be applied away from the puncture site and we can see another loop formation in the gastric lumen now we will place the skin stand the stand has been 
loaded over a catheter so we are trying to place second stent using the echo endoscope so we can see a lot of fluid has come out from the mold of collection so we'll try to suck the fluid to get a clear vision in the gastric side so we can see that's the entry side so we'll try to get along the previous stent and sometime with echo endoscope it may be difficult to get in, to get the wire inside the mold of collection so in this patient we have loaded catheter the stent and we will try to go inside with the catheter so as i mentioned earlier with the echo endoscope the force may not be directed in right direction and one can use either a side view endoscope or one can use a therapeutic scope with the cap attached to it the benefit of using the therapeutic endoscope is that we can pass 10 french stent through therapeutic endoscope so here we can see that the stent is inside we can identify the entry site and now we will try to go inside with the catheter sheath so we can see that again sometimes it's difficult to get in the direction towards the mold of necrosis so one can always take the help of fluoroscopy so we can see that it's uh, challenging to get the other catheter or wire inside the mold of necrosis so actually the when we do procedure under endosonovision and now we are doing under endoscopic vision the angle is altogether different that's why sometimes it can be challenging to pass a wire or catheter inside the mold of necrosis still we are not able to go in right direction so we'll try for maybe 30 more seconds and then we can if we fail we may switch to either a therapeutic endoscope or a side view endoscope so we may see that it's challenging it's getting difficult to get the wire or catheter inside the mold of necrosis and we can also see the drained fluid has collected inside the gastric lumen so we will now remove echo endoscope and exchange it for side view endoscope now we are passing the side view endoscope inside the gastric lumen so we will go inside we will aspirate all the fluid inside the gastric lumen so that we can identify the site of puncture so we'll go to will suck fluid and go to mid gastric body and identify the site of puncture so the previous stent can give an idea from the location of puncture site so we are respirating fluid so this patient is lying in left at position so that's why fluid is getting collected in the gastric funders and proximal gastric body so we can see a fluid pool there and that's a strand we can trace the strand towards a puncture site now we'll pass a cannula and try to go along the previous strand so with the side wing endoscope 
it's, it may be easier to get the direction of bond of necrosis and we can also see on fluoroscopy and we can try to pass guide wire along the shaft of previous stent so again we will trace the stent to identify previous puncture site so we are using here 5 French cannula which is easily available so we can see fluid is seeping from this side now we will pass a cannula so the various maneuvers can be used so we will try to go above the previously placed stent so as we have seen that this step may be challenging with the echondoscope and we may change to side view gyonoscope so we can see the cannula there so we will go in the vicinity of previously placed tent then we use elevator and here we will use the left knob so when we are using elevator and the left knob we are able to get inside the fluid collection and we can see that as soon as we have entered the fluid collection with cannula gush of fluid can be seen this indicates that our cannula has gone in right direction so again we will make multiple loops of guide wire that will again confirm that guide wire has gone inside the mold of collection now after formation of multiple loops we will exchange the cannula we will gently remove the cannula and we will place another plastic stand in this patient we are placing 10 french 7 cm double pitel stand if cyst size is small one can use 10 french 5 cm stand also but this is fairly a large cyst so we are using 10 french 7 cm otherwise there is risk of migration of stent inside the cavity so using a slightly longer stent we are using 10 French 7 cm double pitel stand. So we can see a lot of fluid is coming out and we are sucking or we are aspirating the fluid. Now we can see our cannula. Now, after so the next step is gently withdrawing the cannula and keep the wire in position. For that, we can use either a fluoroscopy image or one can use endoscopic image also. So, here we are slightly away from the gastric wall. In endosono, we have to be very close to gastric wall, but with the side view endoscope, we have to maintain a small distance from the gastric wall. So we can hear site of puncture and we can see also wall of world of pancreatic necrosis. Here we can see a lot of fluid is coming out. We are trying to get a clear uh, endoscopic region. Now we can see guide wire is inside. We have removed the cannula. Now we are passing other stent. So it's the same 10 French 7 cm stent loaded over a small catheter, fine catheter. Now over the wire, we will first pass the catheter inside. 
and we will make a loop inside the fold of necro so you can you can see that wire has uh, sorry this catheter has gone inside now we'll pass a plastic strand you can see plastic strand there so the other holes on one plane push it inside inside so you can see first black marker it will go inside now we remove a guide wire this is second marker so the inner inner catheter can be removed and wire can and, and the strand can be pushed with the sheet and you can see that we have deployed two plastic strands between the gastric lemon involved of necrosis so we will split whole fluid here so that will complete our procedure thanks for watching this video if you have any comment or suggestion you can type in comment box